safe march, but without any particular highs in the regular season. An impressive top 16 phase characterised by five wins from six games. And finally the triumph in the quarterfinals, thanks to the usual Fernando Buesa Arena factor. We can synthesise in this way Tao's march to their fourth consecutive final four. The logical consequence of a team with a very strong identity, an effective play system and the fantastic support of their passionate fans. Only one opponent this season was able to conquer Vittoria's court. We're speaking of Seska, which on November 29th interrupted Tao's incredible home streak of 30 wins in a row. It was a EuroLeague record which had lasted since January 2005, when the same Russian team had stormed the Spanish fortress. By returning to the present time, we have to recount Tao ended the regular season with a 9-5 record behind Seska which won also the return match in Moscow and now will face Spakia's men in the Final Four semi-final for a real never-ending story. And Montipaschi Siena, while in top 16, conquered the primacy with a round in advance, losing only on Fenerbahce's court in the last game. On the contrary, the quarter-final series wasn't easy in the same way. In fact, in game one played in Vitoria, the Whites and Garnet Reds tamed Partizan with a big effort then suffered the largest defeat of the season by 76 points to 55 in Belgrade. But at a decisive moment, Game 3 in Spain, they didn't fail for the uncontrollable joy of Fernando Buesa Arena's people.